Hi folks, uh, today in Coffee with Ravi, I'm going to cover what causes difficulty swallowing. Trouble swallowing is a common complaint that I see in our practice. This happens when we take a bite of food or liquids and when solids or liquids don't go down or sometimes people aspirate those liquids into the lung and cause cough or people talk about food stopping or a feeling of food sticking as it goes down. So that's what trouble swallowing is or food catching. That These are common terms that uh, uh, our patients tell us. What causes that is a number of different reasons. It could be starting up here, some kind of muscle weakness or neuromuscular issue. It could be a problem in the tube where there is scar tissue. It could be a fold of skin called a ring. It could be cancer of the esophagus. Sometimes the bones of the back of the neck, the spinal bones, there's processes called osteophytes that can press on the esophagus. And uh, previous radiation can cause it. And very rarely fungal infections of the throat or the esophagus, all of these can play together in causing difficulty swallowing. How we evaluate this trouble swallowing is sometimes threefold. Sometimes we take a look with the camera, in other words, an upper endoscopy where you can take a camera, go down the throat, examine the food pipe, examine the back of your throat, uh, and see if the, there's any problem in the tube itself. Sometimes there can be a muzzle problem, either a muzzle problem up here or a muzzle problem of the food pipe. The muzzle problem of the food pipe, we study with a test called esophageal manometry. This is a tiny probe that goes through the nose and it sits in the esophagus and we get people to swallow. It takes about 10 minutes to do this test and it tells us if the muzzle itself is able to milk the food down because when we swallow, what happens is after we chew, the food gets compacted into a nice ball at the back of the throat and then we swallow. This swallowing mechanism can sometimes be uh, distorted as well and then when it goes down into the food pipe, the food pipe milks it down. So that we can study with this manometry but the problem at, of the muzzles of the uh, uh, back of the throat and how they connect to the brain, if there's a problem, we study that with what's called a speech and swallowing evaluation. So therefore, it's a threefold way, either the camera or studying the muzzle of the esophagus or studying the mechanism up here. How do we tackle this problem? In a practical manner, after we find out what's causing this, uh, it, it sort of depends. If it's a problem up here, eating smaller chunks or eating meats that are less tough such as you know the tough meats are beef and pork but you know or, or even chicken that's dry but if one can cut those up or mince them or put them to the blender sometimes or chew them well those measures help sometimes if there's a problem with the muzzles the speech and swallowing therapists uh, 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 recommend Thickening the liquid, in other words, the liquids can be mixed with certain substances that make them a little thicker, so then it goes down easier and it doesn't get into the lungs. A great majority of the problems can be taken care of with endoscopy because those are common. If there's an extra fold in the th throat or the scar tissue, you can take the camera, one can go down there and stretch it open and that provides relief. Uh, uh, and that relief can last sometimes a year, two years, sometimes forever. We, we uh, uh, sometimes uh, work with the speech and swallowing evaluation people at Allen Hospital uh, to uh, come up with a plan if it's a problem up here. And very, very rarely in, in, in uh, 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 certain uh, patients where there is a stroke or other problems that can last for a longer period and the stroke is causing a problem up in the neck area, these muzzle groups, what we do is put a feeding tube using a camera uh, and uh, uh, using a, uh, 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 making a tiny incision and threading a tube uh, through that. But that is uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, the last uh, resort. So in summary, trouble swallowing can be multifold, but certainly needs to be evaluated. There's a lot of tricks that we have that can deal with this. So uh, if that is a problem, please bring it up with your healthcare provider. 
and uh, thank you for listening uh, today uh, there will not be a post next week uh, because I'm off uh, visiting parents but I will pick it up uh, the following week when I'm back thank you uh, for listening <laughs>